Hi Virgo, I'm Sephra Jerome and I'm here to give you your tarot scope for 2014. This time you have the hanged man. Now the hanged man can show you swinging in the wind, unable to make a decision. Um, so there's probably something really big coming up and you're having a moral crisis about it. Should you do this? Should you not? What, what should your plan of action be? Maybe you like someone and you don't know how to tell them. Maybe you're trying to choose between two job opportunities. Uh, maybe you're choosing between two lovers. Maybe you're trying to find a new place to live. Maybe you're trying to decide, you know, what to major in in university next year. There's so many decisions we all have to make on a daily basis. And right now you are being almost paralyzed by one you have to make, Virgo. So the best advice I can give to you when the hanged man comes up is always stay true to your moral ground. Now Virgos are pretty grounded and it's, it is often hard to get you to change your mind or sway you in any particular direction. However, in this particular situation, you may start to feel confused by all the different advice from friends. Uh, friends and family who most of the time do mean well and perhaps can see the big picture better than you, but perhaps not. Because at the end of the day, you can take anyone's advice, but you have to live with the consequences. And Virgos know this quite well. You have to walk in your own shoes after that decision has been made. So the best way to make this to to make to resolve the answer to this decision is to do what's right in your own moral code. You have to look at yourself in the mirror every morning. You have to walk in your own shoes. You're the one that has to go to that job or face that spouse or deal with that kid or whatever your situation is. So do what you think is best for you in the long run and really try to be true to yourself about that. Another thing the hanged man can represent, and it can really happen with Virgos. Virgos are friendly, helpful people. I mean, we all know you can be critical and nitpicky and jealous and micromanager and all that, but you're also quite generous. And you're since you're so level-headed, people will often seek you out for advice because you know, whether we want to hear it or not, you would do give good advice. So what's happening is you may be getting overwhelmed by a lot of people coming to you. So you have to learn to say no. Uh, you have to not sacrifice yourself in order to please others so much. Uh, there, there are many times you will do something for someone else and you yourself have a loss because of it. Uh, because you do have that serving nature. You do like to be helpful. You're on many committees and so on. So just be aware that, you know, sometimes people may see you as a doormat. Uh, some of you, not all of you, <laughs> some of you, there's no way anyone could ever mistake you for a doormat. But there are those Virgos that are such people pleasers that people will take advantage of your generous nature. They will take adv advantage of your kind advice and and that thing in you where you do want to please others, bitching all the way. <laughs> so watch out that, you know, you're not being taken advantage of. And so at the end of the day, Virgo, just, uh, you know, do what's best for you and keep on going. We all love you, Virgos. And uh, have a fantastic December. And we'll see you next year. Bye for now.